Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today what we shall be making is uh, we are going to be making a barbecue. Now someone from Kral, so he gave us a oil drum I think it's called. Um, it's some sort of drum. Gave us an, uh, a drum. So we are going to be making a barbecue with it. Now because it's someone from karate, what it's going to be used for is for the karate summer camp. Okay, So in our organisation we have a summer camp, it's a nice time for everyone, we have barbecues, we camp out in the field, it's quite nice, we do the training, we have a bit of fun with it, it is a lovely time. So I'll be making the barbecue for such event, um, yeah, and let's hope it works. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Right, so this is the barrel I was talking about. Um, so we've got a flapper disc on the small angle grinder and we're just going to give that a go and try and give it a brush over and get all the paint off. So let's get to it. So you just cut it open, as I say. Three, two. There you go. Cool. I'm not sure I want to eat anything that comes out of that. <laughs> well done, mate. Thank you. Right, now. Exactly. Right, now. We'll be filing around the edges.
right, so we come up with a plan of action uh, quickly. Well, not very quickly. <laughs> but we come up with a plan of action. We've got some box section, and we've also got um, some angle iron. Angle iron is quite thin, so it'll be perfect. We're gonna, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna make a frame around the top here for the angle iron, and because um, it'll be coming down and it'll come out as well at a 90 degree angle, and then we can make a grill, a blacksmith the grill for the top here. Um, Nisha, the one who gave us the barrel, uh, kindly gave us these grills as well, but they're not wide enough. Um, so we're going to use these as the coal base. Um, old man behind the camera is going to cut them up, clean them up, weld them, so that they all fit flushly. Yeah, flushly and nicely and look nice. So my job is framework. Dad's job is coal grill and um, also I've got to make the framework for the uh, box section on this top piece. Um, we're going to do the angle line. We've got hinges. Well, we've, got, uh, we've got to drill the holes for the hinges first. Uh, we're going to try. I'm going to try and make some hinges, which will be fun. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I've got to learn how to make them first. Um, and we'll have a special idea for the handle as well. So let's get to it. Right. So just figured out that we can't use the angle line because we don't have enough of it. So I found another long piece of box section. Luckily. So rather than angle iron, we're going to use box section, and for the um, shorter bit, 57 centimeters. For the longer bit, 84.2 centimeters. So let's get to it. Test fit up. One this end, one this end. And we're going to have these two resting on top. And to me, that looks pretty good. Obviously, this is going to be um, welded onto the barrel. Yeah, it's frame, so we're going to weld it all together. We're going to be welded onto the barrel, um, and then we'll have to make sure all these are level and straight and lovely. Right, so all we're going to do is just going to clean off a certain amount on each side, um, just so we're able to weld them all together. So we've got, all, we've got it all hooked up, we've got the welding arrow here. Um, so what we're going to do is just going to weld down on here. And weld around here and then we'll take the arrow off, weld in there. Um, do that one. Then we'll do the other two sides and then we'll flip over and then do the undersides as well. So, let's get to it. Just saw me rush around cutting up all these uh, these bits of metal again. Is because we uh, we need to make a frame, similar sort of frame, um, for the lid as well. Because uh, reason why we're making the frames is because the thin metal on the barrel flexes, and obviously we can't have that with a barbecue. We need to have it nice and sturdy. So making frames. Now with this one, um, we need to be a bit more accurate because with the last one we sort of had. I was lucky I cut it wrong, but I could do this um, 
and the same with this one. I can almost make it sit like this, like that, um, with all four pieces and it worked perfectly. Um, but this one I'm going to have to cut accurate 45 degree angles, weld them all nicely just so they fit. So let's get to it. Right, so the old man behind the camera has had a wonderful idea. Rather than me cutting 45 degree angles on each end of all four bars, or box section, um, why not? Because we found out the width of one of those, which is one inch. Uh, there's two of them. So we took two inches of one end of this and one end of this. And now I can butt weld them up against each other like this, rather than having to do 45 degree welds. So. Let's get to it. Right, so we've just welded the frame up. Uh, we're just test fitting it. Fits lovely. So now, um, we've got the barrel in here because the welder weighs 950,000 tonnes. Um, so we just managed to get it in here, and what we're going to do is we're going to clamp it so that it's all nice and flush with the edge there, and then tack weld it all the way around. So let's get to it. Right, so we just finished welding up the other one, so we've got the, uh, the second one in here now. Um, so we're just going to start welding this one up. Right, so we just welded everything up, just placed it on here, and it fits lovely, really, really nice. And what we're going to do next is we're either going to make the hinges, or we're going to make the handle. The hinges will go on this side, handle will go on the other side. Um, Dad's just currently making a riveting tool, so he can put proper, proper rivets in it, make it look nice. So yeah, it's all going well so far. That'll be it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. There will be a part two to um, making the barbecue. Yes, I'm very much looking forward to that. We've got to make a couple of bits before um, carrying on with it. Uh, there will be a couple of videos between each part. Yes. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Comment what you liked, what you didn't like. Like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn notifications on so you do not miss out on any new videos. And I shall hope to see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.